I want to welcome everyone that's tuned in tonight to our new way to exercise, home exercise for the athlete. Also want to welcome all of our uh, people that are watching this recorded presentation. If you're on the live presentation, we will be sharing this uh, tomorrow so that everybody can share it with athletes you know that weren't able to make it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our presentation as we share with you a brand new way for athletes to exercise from home. And it's called blood flow resistance training. And although it's new to the United States, it's not new to Japan. It was discovered over 50 years ago. Today, over 500,000 sessions per day are being done in Japan, from everything to Olympic athletes, professional athletes, all the way down to people who have disease processes like cardiac problems. Now, in the re recent last couple years, thanks to Dr. Jim Stray Gunderson, who I'll be talking about in a second, we've now proven this in our USA Olympic athletes. Now, professional teams are starting to learn about BFR, and B3 Sciences with our B3 bands is leading the way. We already have 5,000 people across the USA using the bands, and specifically athletes. And we're talking athletes of all ages and all levels. We've got a, uh, a junior high athlete up there, Caden, hitting baseballs with the bands, 13 years old. There's Dr. Chris Freeman. He's 75 years old. You're going to hear tonight from Dr. Bruckner, Scott Moore. We've got professional athletes. All different types, kids, teenagers, high school, collegiate, elite, pro, recreational, and even injury and rehab. And it's not just for athletes. Professionals are starting to hear about BFR. You'll hear from a professional tonight, Dr. Uh, a coach, Chad Dennis, who's a strength coach in the NFL and XFL, and he'll tell you what's happening out there with BFR. But it's not just athletes, even doctors, celebrities. If you look down there in the bottom left corner, on the left, that's Mark Wahlberg, the movie star, working out with the bands. That's Nick Cannon, the Hollywood celebrity, working out with the bands. So it's, it's a wide spectrum of people that are learning about it. That's myself right there. I want to give special recognition to Dr. Jim Stray Gunderson, who's the number one expert in the United States on BFR training. He learned about it about five or six years ago in Japan and then brought that technology here to the United States and then developed these bands that you're seeing right now that are being used by athletes all across the country. Why B3 bands? Why should you consider these? Well, number one, you're going to be able to reduce your weight or load or the amount of work you're doing by half or more. Number two, you're going to be able to reduce your training time and training volumes. Those are obviously big benefits. Next, and most important, the biggest thing you're going to learn about tonight is that any athlete is going to be able to stimulate a bigger response in their body by doing less, a bigger nitric oxide release, a bigger growth hormone surge, plus boost the immune system and the cardiovascular system. And you can do this from anywhere, especially from home. And one of the extra benefits is because you're doing less and doing lighter loads, you're gonna have less chance for injury, less pain and faster recovery. And what's shocking is you'll see tonight, in many cases, doing less work gets you better results. Let's talk about training. We don't need to share with anybody on this call what training principles to use. We all know things like lifting heavy weights builds strength and muscle. Running, swimming, and biking into deep fatigues drives VO2 max and endurance. And then speed, jump, explosion training will improve the amplitudes of those uh, sports. Why does this happen? Well, look at that number up there on the left side. That's something you're gonna learn about tonight. That's that's an oxygen deficit, and you know what this feels like. When you exercise, you feel the burn, and that's really the only thing you need to comprehend in this presentation, is when you feel that burn, and you can maintain that burn from exercise, that's when you get the greatest release of growth hormone after exercise and the greatest adaptation. Here's what we've known until now. High intensity, heavy weights, very heavy loads creates this high intensity burn. When you get that burn and maintain that burn, you get growth hormone and you adapt. Here's an actual study of someone doing bicep curls, showing you the oxygen deficit in their muscles. We're not gonna go too deep here other than to show you this is an average athlete starting at about 70% resting oxygen. And when they fatigue, 
they're getting down around 35% oxygen. Now, the elite level athletes of the world, the Michael Phelps, the Lance Armstrongs, they can get lower. They can get down in the 25% range because they can push themselves to levels amateur athletes can't get to. But what happens when you get to this level, this 30, 35% level, is you get a small release of growth hormone. It happens about 15 to 30 minutes after exercise. And then it starts circulating throughout your body and creates adaptation, bigger, stronger muscles, more power, more endurance. Most athletes, when they train, they experience this small release of growth hormone. But here's the problem that athletes have. First of all, many athletes don't have the time to get the amount of volume they need to do high intensity training. Many athletes have pain or limitations. As soon as an athlete gets a hamstring injury or a recurring injury, they are limited by pain. Now they can't push into high intensity. And many athletes, not our elite level athletes, they can push to high intensity. We have junior high athletes, high school athletes, many recreational athletes on the call tonight, many pickleball players who've never seen high intensity. They don't push themselves far enough to get a growth hormone surge. And then you got risk and damage. You've got athletes who have to be careful. They're in season or they could do a lift or a weight that would create the high intensity, but what's the risk? What's the damage to the body? What's the injury possibility? And finally, now we have millions of athletes all across the country. Many of you on the call tonight, many of you with some at home, who are stuck at home and can't even think about getting high intensity exercise. Well, this is the new way. First of all, you're gonna see this number, 20%. That references getting to a deeper oxygen deficit. Here's the first thing that happens when you put the bands on. Up there in the top right-hand corner, that's one of our USA bobsled athletes up at Lake Placid. He's doing a, a weight lifting move and he's got the bands on his legs. What's happening? Because the band is on the leg, the leg now has a slower movement of blood or slower oxygen to the working muscle. So as he starts doing light exercise, his oxygen drops much faster. Why? Because there's less oxygen coming in. So he starts to feel this fatigue much, much quicker. What we call the burn. You don't have to know the science of this. Just know this. When an athlete puts these bands on, they feel that exercise burn and they feel it very fast. But here's the profound thing. Many athletes who have worn these don't quite understand what they're doing. And many, even of our coaches and trainers and people all across the world don't quite understand what it's doing. And athletes that have never had, don't under, had them on don't understand. You're creating a deeper fatigue. Every athlete at every level can now push into a deeper fatigue. And this creates a stronger adaptative response. Look at the chart on the right side. This is the same person now doing bicep curls with half the weight. Again, they're going to fatigue. On the left side, they went to fatigue with heavier weight. Now on the right side, look how deep the fatigue level is getting. Imagine an athlete who's never seen fatigue levels of 10, 15, 20% oxygen now hitting them in every workout. The response is profound in the body, and the most profound response is a bigger growth hormone release. In this study, there was a 25 times increase in growth hormone in people working out with and without the bands. This means athletes at every level, and we can go all the way up to Olympic level, and we can all come all the way down to our you know, elementary school and junior high athletes or our senior recreational athletes. All athletes will be able to safely get to a deeper fatigue and create more growth hormone. And guess what else they cr create? Many of our professionals on the call tonight will understand this, but if you're new to exercise science, just know that when you start to work out and you get that pump feeling, you start to get warmed up. That's called nitric oxide. When you start getting metabolic fatigue or oxygen deficit from exercise, your body releases this nitric oxide. And what happens? You get increased blood flow to your oxygen and muscles. 
but guess what happens when you put the band on? It happens much faster. Now you've got the bands on for a couple minutes and all of a sudden more blood flow is moving. You're warming up faster, you're ready faster, and you are performing better. And studies show that athletes who train with BFR have more strength, more power, more explosion, more energy, more stamina, more endurance. Why? Because they're getting a bigger nitric oxide release. You can see there on this study, using BFR bands, there was almost a doubling in the production of nitric oxide. This is something that's very, very profound for athletes. And before we get into some special guests tonight, BFR training is safe. So when you start considering this for your athletes, hear, hear what this study said. BFR training is safe for healthy people and can be applied to various kinds of physical conditions. We're not talking normal athletes here. They actually study people with cerebrovascular disease, orthopedic disease, obesity, cardiac disease, neuromuscular disease, diabetes, hypertension, respiratory disease, and found that it was as safe as normal exercise. And in many cases, it's safer. Why? Because you're lifting lighter loads and you have less chance for injury. What are some of the ways you can exercise with the man's? Well, one way is by just going for a walk. Now, <clears throat> this isn't necessarily what athletes would do, but we have a whole population of people who are stuck at home right now, or if you're an athlete, or you're in the athletic world, you have family members, that if we could just get them going for a walk, we can improve their health. And that's what the bands do. People who walk with the bands, it feels like they've been running. They get high intensity exercise results by simply going for a walk for 10 or 15, 20 minutes, which is exactly what we need everybody in the country doing. We have an easy to follow basic and advanced video for walking. How about running, biking, or swimming? How about triathletes? And yes, the B3 bands are waterproof. People that use the bands have noticed first reduced training volume, which allows them to recover faster. Next, less injury, and they get more endurance and VO2 max. Now, how is this possible? How is it possible to do less volume and get better results? It's very simple. Remember what I just shared with you. These athletes at every level, because the bands are on, are able to push to a deeper fatigue. So as you're running, biking, or swimming, the fatigue comes faster, so you're done quicker, but it gets deeper. And when you go to a deeper fatigue in running, biking, and swimming, it doesn't matter if you did it for 40 minutes or 10 minutes. It's irrelevant. You fatigue deeper, you get better results. Look at these studies on endurance athlete. This first study was done on athletes simply doing knee extension training. They're not even doing aerobic exercise. Both groups, with and without the man's doing weight training, noticed an increase in strength and size, but look what happened to the BFR group. The group with the bands on had a 28% increase in VO2 max. This is unheard of. These athletes are not even running, yet their brain and their muscle thinks they're running because they're getting into a deeper oxygen deficit. And then here's a cycle training study on 19 subjects. The people with the BFR had almost a double performance improvement, 15% increase time to exhaustion, 6.4 increase in VO2 max, as well as increase in strength and size. This means that our endurance athletes, track and field, runners, bikers, swimmers, can actually train less and get better results. And we're gonna hear from one of them tonight. I'm gonna to bring on Dr. Dennis Brickner. I'm gonna unmute his phone. Dr. Brickner, are you on with us? Yes, sir. Good awesome. evening. Awesome, Dr. Brickner. Uh, first of all, share with us a little bit about your training and then what you did with the bands and what results you've seen. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. I have been participating in the uh, Senior Olympics uh, over the last four or five years, and uh, this uh, last year started uh, implementing D3 in my training routines. I uh, was able to, uh, in the last Ohio State Senior Olympic Games, uh, brought home six, five individuals and one uh, team gold medal. So six total. 
And uh, just uh, <clears throat> one of one of the workout routines I do is uh, um, 200 intervals. Um, usually do a mile of uh, two mile. I used to do two miles of those. And you were talking about volume, Dr. Mike. And yeah, I've been noticing that when I do four of the intense 200 in, uh, in 200 meter runs, high intensity, that uh, the fatigue factor is there quicker. And that's huge when you're dealing with a senior athlete because you're trying to preserve your legs and obviously your joints and whatnot. Uh, one of the other things I'll do is typically you can see the stadiums behind me. I, the local high school, I run the stadium stairs. <clears throat> There's eight aisles that I typically run, will run in, or have ran in the past. And with the B3 bands, uh, I've only been doing of late uh, just four aisles because once I get to the top, my my legs are toast. I am really feeling it. So, yes, you can do a lot more, uh, get a lot more out of it with a lot less um, volume and time. That's for sure. Awesome. And then tell us, Doc, what your what your goal is this year? You were telling me a goal, which is you know it's pretty impressive, trying to hit a new record of your your hundred meter run. Yes, uh, for somebody over the age of 55, it's very rare to see somebody who can run 100 meters in under 12 seconds. That is definitely my goal. And um, I also picked up running the 400, which is the quarter, and uh, have a goal of uh, one minute in that as well. And once again, that's a that's not an American record or anything, but that would definitely be my record and one that would set me uh, well above um, others in my age group. Awesome. Well, thanks for being on tonight, Dr. Brickner. We'll, we'll look forward to hearing your results. And, and that's hopefully you're going to be able to get out to some meets in May if we can all get back to activities. <laughs> that's correct. Yeah. Thanks. I enjoy being on with you, Mike. Okay. Thank you. Next, let's talk about athletes, other athletes, young athletes, amateur athletes, recreational athletes, athletes of all levels. I like to say this that this is an unfair athletic advantage, and we're going to see three examples of that tonight. First, Emily. Emily's a volleyball player. You're going to see where she added six inches to her vertical. Now, this is not an out-of-shape uh, volleyball player. This is an in-season elite-level volleyball player adding six inches. That's my son, Colin. He went from running a 4.640 to a 4.3540. Again, he'd already been elite level trained and then Scott, a national pickleball champion. We'll hear from him how his on-court fitness went through the roof. Let's go to Emily first. I'm gonna play for you this video and I'm gonna narrate it as we're going along here. Um, now, Emily is a collegiate division one volleyball player now and she had maxed out where most athletes have. Most athletes have maxed out in their peak performance. So if you're a recreational athlete, you know this. But these bands, what we're seeing is athletes are able to Blow previous amplitudes, previous records. So here's Emily. All she's doing is her normal jumping. No change in protocol. She's just putting the bands on. And here she's doing some uh, practicing spike jumps. And what's going to happen is she's going to fatigue quicker in her jumps. But here's the magic. It's the same thing we talk about with everything else. She's going to fatigue deeper in the activity of jumping, and then her amplitudes go up. And it didn't go up an inch. Her amplitude went up six inches. And other people have, who have implemented these jumping techniques, their amplitudes all go up. So this video, we have this video available to everybody. But there's this, what's great about this for our athletes, our coaches, our strength people on the calls, you don't have to change protocols. You simply put the bands on and you're able to get to a deeper fatigue. Here's another one. This is my son, Colin. I'll back up here and turn the volume down on this. Colin was at 17 years old, high school football player, had Division I skill, did not have Division I speed to be a wide receiver, and he was playing quarterback. He needed to convert. He was previously running a 4640, about 19 miles per hour. I'll show you some videos here. And he, all he did was put the bands on and do his normal speed training. Nothing changed. We just put the bands on. So he's doing ladder drills there. And down here, he's doing his lunges, kettlebell lunges with less weight. And he's fatiguing deeper in the activities of getting more speed. And when you fatigue deeper, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you get more adaptative response. Look at this. Ohio State football camp card here down in the bottom right corner. If you can't see that, that's a 4-3-5-40. Now, Colin's not going to play in the NFL someday, 
but this took my son from a great high school football player to a division one football player on full scholarship for all the parents who are listening high school athletes are listening. Next, let's go to another one of our guests tonight. Let me bring him on here. Scott, are you there with us? I'm here. Okay, so I'm just gonna introduce him then I'm gonna let him narrate his own video. Scott, by the way, is one of the best pickleball players in the world. He's the top men's senior player, uh, has won multiple triple crowns. And uh, he's gonna tell you his story about what it did for him. And then Scott, when, you, when you're ready, after your story, I'll go ahead and click the video and you can tell him what you're doing in the video. Sure. Um, yeah, I was just looking for a way to stay ahead and stumbled onto this technology, went up to Park City and tried it and uh, was fascinated. So I, I bought a set and uh, first time I worked out with Dr. Mike in Dallas, I next day I could barely walk. I was so sore. But after five weeks of using them five days a week, um, I did a more even more intensive workout a month later, five weeks later with Dr. Mike and had no fatigue or no soreness whatsoever. I was blown away. So um, I just started using them and then noticed my on-court endurance getting better and better. I had a national, this is 2018, pickleball national level pickleball tournament in uh, November of that year and had six events. And uh, the last day is usually just kind of last man standing. But I was the guy that looked like he was walking his dog in the park and just I won the gold medal match over a guy who had almost beaten me three months before before I'd started using the bands, I, I beat him like 11-0 this time, 11-4, and just crushed him. People couldn't believe it. So that's when I noticed my performance was going through the roof and endurance. Um, but the things I really love about it are just the time savings. You know, I used to work out for about an hour when you added the stretching at the end and stuff, and now I can do it in about 30 minutes, and I don't have to drive 15 minutes each way to the gym. So it's given me basically an hour a day back um, and time being one of our most valuable assets. I definitely really appreciate that. It also, um, I think it's been a whole lot easier on my joints. You know, when I would lift weights, I would have to take a few days off because I was, you know, sore and tearing muscle and this, this I can do every single day. There is no recovery period. I love that. I use elastic bands mostly. Um, and uh, I think the, the other thing is, I mean, I was very healthy before, but I feel better. I sleep better. Um, I had a fracture, if you remember, last year of my heel. And they yes. told me, you actually looked at the x-ray, Dr. Mike, and, and uh, my other friend that looked at it said, you're out of nationals. It's going to be a four to six week recovery period. Well, nationals was in like three weeks. So I said, no, I'm not. And I just really worked out hard, took some extra start and collagen supplements and 10 days later, I was playing pickleball again, and at Nationals was able to play, um, you know, almost normally and uh, won three medals or four medals. But anyway, um, so that blew my mind as far as just the, the rehab benefits of it for, you know, injuries. I knew that was what it started with, but uh, I had primarily focused on the fitness and health side, but the rehab is a huge aspect as well for people you know, in my group that are getting a little older and seeing the injury bug crop up and bite us sometimes. Yeah. So Scott, so, um, great a pickleball video that I want to share. And, and you've done three pickleball videos for anybody that's on the that place pickleball or wants to improve court performance. I'm going to play your, your, your little court workout here. If you want to share with them what you're doing. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I, I like variety. I get bored real, real quickly, but uh, these are some of the some of the ones I learned and some I made up along the way, you know, so depending on if I'm outdoors and want to focus mostly, I, I try to do mostly cardio and lower body every day. And I only do upper body a couple of days a week. Cause I think, but uh, getting your cardio going, this is one of my favorite, you know, using a jump rope, warm up exercises. I also do jumping jacks and that kind of stuff. And I do these, these uh, push outs, basically cardio wise, I jump with them. And then the rows, I also make them, make them a cardio. So I'm getting lower upper body and cardio at the same time when you jump and pull. When I started, I was just doing the, the rows standing. But again, I've just wanted to be more effective and more intense as I go. 
So these are some of the jumping jacks that I do with weights. So again, I'm getting upper body, lower body, and cardio at the same time. And, um, you know, initially I was doing just lunges, and now I do kick lunges when I'm really feeling it. And uh, that will just wipe you out. But uh, you're actually jumping and kicking during the lunge. Because, again, I'm, I'm looking for the strength in my legs. I'm looking for the endurance. I'm looking for the speed and explosiveness. And so I, I try to add jumps to a lot of the things I do. These are one-legged jumpers, which, you know, again, just working on my explosiveness and speed training, um, as well as, obviously, cardio. I think my heart's probably benefited more than anything all this because I've just gotten stronger, just like when I moved to Colorado Springs. And there's my core uh, exercises. Again, I try to finish doing some core stuff. And uh, that's it. That's probably a. Yeah, that's awesome, Scott. I know when I come stay with you, we work out together in his basement and we try and kill each other. And I mean, we're done in 15 minutes. And I mean, Scott, maybe if you could just attest to this last thing, it, it, it really boils down to is we're doing less, but we're able to get to this deeper fatigue or burn that we just can't get to any other way. And I think that's what the magic is. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I read a book, I told you, Dr. Mike, Younger Next Year, and the guy, the guys basically said the key to anti-aging and staying healthy over a long period of time is high intensity exercise. And the poor guys were exercising an hour a day, six days a week. And I was kind of laughing because I'm going, well, I can get that done in 15 minutes and probably have a better benefit. So totally believe in the concept, but we've just discovered a better mousetrap, better way to do it. And this is a life changer. I mean, this is just this is empowering people to take responsibility for their fitness and health. Everybody's looking for excuses. And this basically took my excuse away. I mean, my excuse before was I have to have a gym to work out. And now I exercise on my time, not when I can get to the gym. So it's made me more consistent. And I think that's been a huge reason why, you know, at 58 years old, I think I'm in the best shape of my life. Awesome. Well, Scott, thanks for joining us tonight. We'll look forward to hearing, you know, from you from in the future about more results you're getting. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Okay, let's, let's show you another video here because we're, ta we're talking all different types of athletes. If you were on earlier, we we're showing you a um, video of Vinny Mang. I'll go ahead and turn this on and we'll play the video. Vinny is a two-time national martial arts champion. He is on Team USA. And what he notices when he's trained with the bands is his amplitude, quickness, and power are all dramatically quicker. So in addition to doing his weight training, he actually puts them on in punches and kicks and spars with the bands and his amplitude has gone up. Same thing as if we're jumping like Emily or Collins running or Scott's doing his type of workout. He's simulating his sport kicking, punching and his amplitude goes up. Let's move on, let's talk about muscle because obviously building muscle is a big, big one. Look at the top left-hand corner there. That's Dr. Chris Freeman. He has been working out his whole life, Tyler, Texas, and he get, got to an age where all it would do was hurt. Um, he had a trainer, he'd ice and ibuprofen afterward, and he wasn't growing. When he switched to the bands, same thing happens at 75 years old. He fatigues deeper, he gets a bigger growth hormone surge, and look at those guns. He put an inch on his arms and two inches on his thighs when he hadn't seen growth since he was 40 years old, did that in six weeks. So I'm going to show you a video with Harry. Harry's a professional bodybuilder and trainer. And then down there at the bottom, young people. Young people put on muscle faster than ever. And now we can do it without synthetic hormones. And we can do it without potentially damaging their body. Before I get to Harry, look at this study. Light weights plus elastic BFR was compared to heavy weights. And in this study, Muscle size increase starts appearing in as little as six days. And this is what people say. Everybody says in the first 30 days, they can't believe how fast their muscle grows. Here's Harry. Harry's a bodybuilder lifting heavy, heavy weights. Why does Harry like this? Because now he's down to a third or half the weight. I'm going to play the top video for you. He's doing lunges with 50 pound weight he would typically do this with the full bar 135 pounds and not be able to get the same fatigue he can get with this weight so why is this so beneficial same principles are applying to this elite level bodybuilder 
he's using less weight, he's getting a deeper burn, and he's getting better results. And Harry will tell you his muscles are fuller, more dense, and he put on more muscle. And it's hard to believe that you can grow and get better results, but yet less have less soreness the next day. And I'm gonna show you the bottom video of it. Harry's doing some shoulders and some forearms. And you can see the look on his face here in a second. He's using five pound dumbbells, uh, five pound weights there when he typically would use 20s. And he's getting to a massive burn and he's getting that deeper fatigue. Here's a muscle strength study. This was study was done in Japan, measuring strength changes for all of our athletes, coaches, trainers who want to see strength changes. Most of us think, well, we're going to have to do the heavy weights for the strength turns. That's not what this study showed. This study showed that light weights plus elastic BFR showed the same improvement in strength as doing the traditional heavy weights. So if we can get just as strong, and just as big and just as powerful, you can start to imagine where we can go with this technology. Next, I'm gonna bring on our final guest. Uh, his name is Coach Chad Dennis. He's been a collegiate strength coach, an NFL strength coach, and now he's the strength coach at the Seattle XFL team. Uh, coach Dennis, thanks for being on tonight, and I'm just gonna let you talk a little bit about it, and, and then when you're ready, I'll go ahead and play some <coughs> videos for you what's going on with your athletes okay good evening dr mike and to everyone thanks for having me on uh yeah i was first introduced to this um should it's been a few years now uh primarily in the nfl and it was used in a in a rehab setting uh you know and in, uh, obviously everybody knows where you know what football injuries are pretty prevalent prevalent and um you know, I, I, there was one prominent NFL player that had a, a lower body and pretty really significant lower body injury. And so therefore could not load his body. And, and we've all heard Dr. Mike talked about not lifting heavy weights and uh, they're literally physically unable to at that, at, you know, based on that type of injury, a significant lower body injury. And, uh, but they were part of their rehab process. Once they got to that stage, they were then able to um, use the blood flow restriction and uh, really improved their, um, their rehab and started to add, add muscle mass, whereas they had atrophied uh, due to the sur surgery and, and that whole process. So uh, that's where I first started uh, kind of diving into it, if you will, uh, and then started getting into using it myself and started uh, more or less anecdotally uh, started using it with some of my athletes and seeing what kind of results I would get. And, uh, you know, the, the guys there in the in the pictures are two guys that were on our team. Uh, they had been in the they've been in the NFL and uh, she were probably in the, anywhere from six to seven years had been in the NFL uh, on a few different teams. And so they had a variety of injuries. Um, one, they both had, had 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 significant lower body injuries in their past, and so. <clears throat> One day uh, we were talking and, and I said, you know what, why don't we try this? And because I, it, we, with football you do, these guys have to go through clearly significant impacts. Uh, they receive the significant impacts and they give significant impacts. And uh, you, you do have to load and distress the tissues in the body. Um, it is necessary for the sport, and, or I believe it is. And... Uh, this uh, the, with BFR, it has become a, uh, another fantastic tool for me to use with guys, and uh, I just so happen to use it with these guys that have had these significant injuries in the past, and they were not injured at this current time, so they were they were healthy. Uh, but anybody that's ever had an, a significant injury uh, knows that that ten, tends to linger for quite some can for quite some time. So these guys. Uh, they would at they would for the most part still lift heavy, uh, but I did put this in addition, uh, it added this onto their training, and, and um, I, I, besides just the benefits of them feeling better, uh, they I will say it actually improved their mood. Uh, so oddly enough, you know, uh, one of these guys in particular would come in, and he was always his you know something was always hurting. And so something in his lower body was typically hurting. 
And so he was just, he, he wasn't ever in, he may not have been in the best mood and best frame of mind to try to lift heavy weight. And so uh, I went with this and he's walking around with a smile on his face and he just, he never had done it before. He, he, know, he knew about it, but he never had the experience. And uh, he was just walking around with a smile on his face and he's just like, I feel good. I feel good. And then he was talking about how good his knee felt that nothing we did hurt his knee. And he was walking out of there with this, like I said, with a smile on his face and a good attitude and, and uh, just in a good mood. And so he had good mood and good energy, which is fantastic. And uh, one of the other guys there had had a significant lower, by, uh, lower leg injury and uh, would still, like I said, still lift heavier weights in his, with his lower body, but uh, used this also and uh, started to really improve his uh, lower leg that where he had had the significant injury and uh, started noticing some of his pain was going away. Uh, it felt like he could notice a difference on the field and, and just pushing off and uh, accelerating during his during a run and getting off the ball and those kind of things. That's awesome, <laughs> Coach. I'll play this other video real quick. At first, guys, they're just doing kettlebell squats, and these aren't yeah. new moves. I mean, you're, you're not. No. You're you're just loading them less and putting the bands on. Here, he's doing some calf work. So where do you see, Coach? What uh, you know? This is just kind of you know this. It, it's just evolving so fast. Where and you, down on the bottom there, you got a guy doing hamstrings. I, you know, we're fortunate because we got guys like you are kind of out in the front of this thing. Where, where do you see this going? What's your, what's your thoughts on how this is going to continue to evolve? Uh, you know, I think it, I'll, just speaking for the athletic uh, realm, I would say that it's just going to continue to take hold. Um, you know, it, because whenever you get into the professional ranks, and I mean, it happens in college also, but you, you get into the professional ranks, and, you know, these guys are still expected to perform. They want to still perform. They're there, you know, clearly in, in this XFL league, for example, you know, these guys have had the NFL experience and they still just love the game and still want to play. And uh, they've all, everybody has damage. It's just a matter of how, what the, how significant it is. Um, and so one of our primary roles in this is we still have to train people and get, um, and get a tremendous training effect out of them, but yet there's plenty of limitations, and so therefore we have to modify uh, a lot of exercises. And so it's it really is problem solving. And so th this has helped solve some problems. And then one that. last, that's one last question, Coach. We, you know, we didn't even get to talk about this. It, that, you know, this could be profound for our 10, 11 to 14, you know, these kids going through the growth plate changes where you can't put the heavy weight on them. Right. Yeah, no, I thought that was a good point earlier that you made. And, um, you know, because uh, we all know that there's plenty of uh, a lot of youth sports going on now. And, and it's just, you know, it's, it's always more and more and more. And, um, you know, it seems like they're playing a lot more and doing a lot less training. And so if you could get that age group to start to train and just to be able to get them better at just fundamental movements of the body. Um, squatting, hinging, lunging, um, push-up type movements, any, anything like that, and just to get them better and just to generally strengthen their body, um, and they could do it in a safe but a really effective way. This, you know, again, I, I see it as a great tool for that also. Yeah, and perfect for home. I mean, this is every the, what these guys are doing right here in your videos. They can do all this at home. I mean, they can go out in the garage yeah. and grab something that's heavy and do their kettlebell squats, can't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I wished everybody had a set, <laughs> yeah. especially right now under these circumstances. So, yeah. exactly. um, you know, I use mine and I, I use mine r routinely and I'm very thankful that I have them right now. Yeah. Well, coach, we'll look forward because this is just going to continue to evolve and uh, we'll hopefully hear from you in the future as this continues to evolve. Thanks for being on. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Mike. Okay. Let's move on here. So real quick, this is a baseball video for baseball players out there. Bottom left corner, you got Caden, 13 years old. Here's Tony Roselli, a, a pro baseball player hitting off the tee. You can put these bands on hit, throw, run, home, batting cage, and on the field and improve your amplitude. Tony noticed he was hitting the ball much further. I think Tony told me 20, 30 foot further, he typically was hitting the ball after a season of training with the bands. 
And again, this is athletes who can be at home right now and, and simulate all kinds of different activities with the bands on. How about tennis and soccer? Uh, there's a picture of a tennis player right here. He's got all four bands on. I won't spend a lot of time. But what happens when you put the bands on and hit tennis balls? You fatigue deeper in the action of hitting tennis balls. Scott Moore will tell you, he puts the bands on and plays pickleball. Your on-court performance goes up. Again, why? In the action of hitting the tennis balls, this athlete's going to fatigue deeper and he's going to get more amplitude. How about soccer? Soccer, same thing. Here's an athlete who's being worked out by his dad. This is a high school athlete. She's doing a speed drill and a kicking drill with the bands. Going to go through a whole series of ladder drills. And again, she's going to fatigue deeper. So this is going to improve her agility. This exercise, which normally wouldn't produce a good fatigue, by the time she gets done, Rob will tell you, with her 15, 20 minutes of sessions, her legs are trashed. And she gets the more adaptative response afterward. You can even hit golf balls, run and shoot in lacrosse, and rehab. We've got many people who have rehabbed in half the time. I'll just show you a video here of an athlete who had an ACL repair. Here he's got the bands on doing typical lunge exercises on a power plate. And he was back in 4.5 months to playing the Division I baseball, which typically takes eight to nine months. Scott told you earlier his fracture on his heel. He's back playing in 10 days. What's great about this is when you apply the bands, the protocols don't change. So if, you know, Chad is at the Seattle XFL team and they're in the training room with an athlete, they don't change the protocol. If you're an athlete and you're coming back from a hamstring pull or rotator cuff tendonitis, we have videos to show you where you can follow simple protocols and speed up healing time and actually come back in better condition thanks to the bands, and even physically challenged people. That's Jeff, he's got Parkinson's. We could spend a half hour to an hour on how this can benefit physically challenged people like Donna, a quad amputee. How can this help? You're taking people who are able to reach a certain fatigue level, like Jeff, who can, all he can do is air squats by holding on to something. Now he puts the bands on and he fatigues much deeper at a level where he, instead of losing muscle at his age, he's putting it back on. Donna, same thing. She can do modified strength training at home, but with the bands, get a deeper fatigue and a better response. So it's across the board. Think of any exercise, any movement, any person who needs to get stronger or better, you can put the bands on and get deeper fatigue. And finally, it's even good for your immune system. Listen to what these universities prestigious universities have told us. Regular physical exercise or frequent structured exercise reduces the incidence of many chronic diseases in older age, including communicable diseases such as viral. Who are we worried about right now? Our older population and viral infection. Immediately when they get vigorous exercise, they get an immune boost. And here's what the boost is. During vigorous exercise, the number of some immune cells in the bloodstream can increase dramatically by up to 10 times, especially natural killer cells that deals with infections. And this came from WebMD, and this result even is happening in kids. And this is a study showing that exact result. Blood flow resistance training, creating the metabolic stress in the body. On the left side of the chart, getting the growth hormone release. On the right side of the chart, the increase in white blood cells. How profound is this? You immediately get up to a 10x increase in the natural killer cells that are going to go out and fight viral infections. Now, I'm not here to tell you that we have a cure. What I am here to tell you is the science is sound on this. Vigorous exercise is what everybody needs right now to boost their immune system. And now we can put demands on and we can get that vigorous exercise response. Think of all the families that are sitting at home who we could help boost their immune system or all of our athletes or all of your family members. Well, B3 bands, have you seen, are a breakthrough. They have 40 years of research out of Japan. We've already proven it in our USA Olympic athletes. We already have 5,000 people like the athletes that you heard today that are using it and we are just getting started. It's proven to promote bigger growth hormone. It's proven 
to get better results and it's proven to boost your immune system. And now it's exactly what every athlete needs. A way to work out from home. Instead of sitting around and rotting and deconditioning, our athletes can stay in the best shape that they have already are in, but many of them will come out of this shelter in place by using the B3 bands, will come out in better shape. That means your athletes can jump higher, build muscle, come out stronger from this. Well, how do you get started? Well, get back to the person who referred you tonight to tonight's presentation, if you're watching live or recorded, and you can order your own B3 bands. We'll make sure that you get the right sizes that'll fit your arms and your legs. Next, you'll get an email from one of our coaches, which will immediately plug you in, and I'll talk about that in a second and make it easy for you. If you have a protocol, this is what's great. Continue your current athletic protocol. No changes. You don't have to change what your coaches or strength coaches or experts, like Coach Chad is telling you. You just put the bands on and reduce the load. Expect results in 30 days. And the biggest benefit we have right now is stay in shape, and we want you to share it with friends and family. Now, as soon as you get your bands, we're going to email you one of our coaching programs. Lose weight, tone up, get in shape, build muscle, perform better, walk for fitness. And you're going to have easy-to-follow exercise videos. If you're in the athletic community, we have programs for all sports. We will help you implement this with your current protocols. But be creative. as uh, Coach Chad showed you there. He had a guy laying on the ground with some exercise tubing working his hamstring muscles. You can do this as a standalone training, meaning you can't get to the gym, you don't have equipment, you can do BFR only. And then when you go back, you can add this to your current training. For personal consultation, if you're an athlete, you want some personal consultation, that consultation comes with your B3 bands purchase. Same for coaches, athletic trainers, physical therapists, or anybody watching. And if you ever want to discuss science and studies or advanced studies, you can email me also. So just remember these emails, coach at b3sciences.com. You'll get that email when you order your vans. And you can also reach out to me. And if necessary, I'll also set up a private training session with you on the phone. We'll talk advanced strategies and even specifically about your condition. The bands come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So I want to encourage all of you who do not currently have the bands, order your bands. 30 days from the day they arrive, not the day you order, you're going to get a money-back guarantee. So if you're not completely satisfied, send them back. They even come with a 12-month warranty. We even have a PayPal eBay program where you can order these and get six months to pay with no interest plus $20 off of your order. So if you are you have a financial restriction right now, we have this no interest for six months, and we even have team discounts. So if you want to buy two sets, four sets, maybe for everybody in your family or a small group or 10, 15, 20 sets for teams, we have team discounts. To learn more about that, just email us at support at v3sciences.com. And do you know some athletes? Well, after watching this live presentation or recorded, I bet you're starting to think of all the different athletes you know in your family, your friends, your colleagues. We want you to share this with them so not only can you get in the best athletic shape of your life, and for coaches and trainers, this gets you ahead of the curve. Coach Dennis right now is completely ahead of the curve of every other strength coach that does not have this. Five years from now, every strength coach will have this in the NFL, in the X in every league, he's one of the first to be implementing this. So if you're a coach or you're a trainer or you know some of these professionals, here's a chance for them to get out on the forefront of this and be ahead of the curve for their athletes. And we want you to help us lead this exercise revolution. We're currently at 5,000. We're heading towards 1 million people, many of which will be athletes. And if you'd like to join us, we have a sharing program. For some of you who are looking for an extra way to make a great income, get back to the person who referred you. You can start sharing videos like this. We'll even give you your own personalized website where you can refer people to and they can get all the information and order right from your website and you will make generous commissions and it can grow from there. And finally, I want to encourage all of you that are not on the IMB3 Facebook to join us and share your home exercise. This is my gym. 
you know, my COVID-19 gym, it's right in my garage. Membership's free. It's open 24 hours. And I'm not missing a beat. I've got some little 10-pound dumbbells there. And I was down there before the presentation tonight getting an awesome 15-minute workout. And I can tell you, I feel great. I also have a lot more confidence and sleep better knowing I'm boosting my immune system during this time. So if you're not on our Facebook page, please come out and join us at I am B3. Our next B3 Lives, we do these every Wednesday and, and Sunday. I want you to think about this Wednesday. Who do you know who's 50 and older? Who do we know who's not exercising or might be immune system compromised right now or needs to get exercising? We're going to do a presentation Wednesday on how we can help our entire senior population get in better shape and boost their immune system. And then next Sunday, we're going to do another athlete presentation because many of you on tonight are thinking, oh my gosh, I should have invited those 10, 15, 20 athletes that I know. We're going to be back here again with a little quicker presentation. We went about 50 minutes tonight. Next week, we will go about 35 to 40 minutes, a more fast pace. But we'll do this athlete presentation again. So this will give you a chance to come back next Sunday. I want to thank everyone that's joined tonight on the live presentation, as well as everybody tuning in on the recorded presentation.